Undoubtedly, you've heard of Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and after a few busy days of shopping and treating yourself, it might be time to start thinking about someone else and paying it forward. And that brings us to today, which is Giving Tuesday. The idea is to encourage people to find ways to make donations and to give back to their communities. With me now is Hugo Trockley, who is with the Community Living Oakville. Hi, hi Hugo. He works with disabled hi. young people and adults, teaching them about media and communications. Hugo, thank you so much for joining us. You're joining us from Burlington, Ontario today. Now, let's talk about Giving Tuesday and this concept of the kind of work that you do with community living. What, what exactly is your job there? So my role here is a, a direct support professional for Community Living Oakville. Uh, I'm glad that you mentioned Giving Tuesday as this year in particular, uh, as nonprofits don't have the ability to do the same fundraising they used to do, like that involve large gatherings. So it's really important this year. And again, the nature of the work that you guys do at, uh, at Oakville Community Living, what is that? We support people with developmental disabilities. Uh, we support them uh, in the community. We also have uh, 19 residential homes that we support people in. Uh, we provide day programs, and we also help people uh, attain employment. And how exactly are you doing that? Tell me about the type of work that you're doing with the clients that you work with. Yeah, so, um, I mean, right now things are different, but... Um, some of the things that I'm doing personally right now is uh, I've created a lot of virtual programming for the people we support to kind of uh, prevent isolation and loneliness. Um, we have a lot of staff that are working really hard to take people out uh, as much as possible to uh, make sure that they're still engaged uh, as safely as possible in the community. And uh, yeah, I think that's... So Hugo, while you were speaking, we were showing pictures and images of you doing Zoom calls with some of the people that you work with. And as you mentioned, right. many of them have dif developmental disabilities. Can you put into perspective yeah. for us how difficult, th this year's been difficult for everybody, but particularly yes. how difficult it's been for the people that you work with? It's very difficult, very confusing. Um, we're always trying to find ways to uh, explain to different people uh, what's going on. Um, in our Zoom calls, we do a morning discussion, and the, the, the question is always, you know, when will it be over? Um, when will we have a vaccine and all this kind of thing? And we're at the point now where everyone's just sort of chanting in, you know, we're just going to take things day by day and uh, support each other. You know, we're in this together. We're going to try to do our best to kind of make sure that um, uh, we support each other through this as much as possible. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, it's taking a long time, but uh, we will get there. And we're just trying to stay as positive as possible day by day, uh, just like I guess everyone is trying to do right now. You mentioned off the top that it's been difficult this year to do the traditional kind of fundraising that organizations like yourself would be doing. So do, has yes. that resulted in fewer donations? Is that resulting in less people giving or are how, how has the pandemic affected that part of your work? Yes, it would, because, like, for example, a golf tournament for us is a big event. Uh, we, were, we had to cancel that this year. Uh, you know, there's a variety of events that in, involve large gatherings to raise funds for the agency, and we were not able to do that. So, I mean, we're finding innovative ways to, to try to work around it, but um, today is a, an extra special day. Uh, we're hoping that the message gets out there for all nonprofits to kind of get that support and uh, uh, hopefully people will give back. Uh, we, we actually, it's been going pretty well. We literally got an anonymous donor of $10,000 who said they will match uh, every dollar donated to CLO between now and December 31st. So that's exciting. And uh, so good things are happening, but yeah, it's definitely harder this year for nonprofits okay. in general. We have less than 30 seconds. So a quick final word about the kind of thing that could help organizations like yourself. Uh, donating your time, uh, donating, uh, you, you know, uh, check out our website, uh, www.oakcl.org, uh, or go to givingtuesday.ca and uh, support them, promote the event. Um, if, you, if there's a nonprofit that's near and dear to your heart and they're doing great work. Sounds uh, good. Hugo, to sorry to cut you off. we got to leave it there. Okay.